Hello! Welcome to another episode of Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we got a netherite sword in a gilded chest, which reminded me, why don't we just upgrade our own sword to netherite? Now the next vault boss doesn't stand a chance. Uh, maybe. <laughs> and it is that time of the day where we check our vault crystal recipe. That's not bad at all. We have some extra snow blocks. We have honey... Uh, I think we have honeycomb. We have ender pearls and we definitely have charcoal. All right. We do not have honeycomb, but we do have a bee nest. Honeycomb farm right here. I'll, I'll definitely be expanding this, but this works for now. We've got what we need. You know, cute little build. I want to do a little kind of a hive look, but out of white glass. And, uh, you know, I got some, got some cute little yellow flowers in there that I've been wanting to use. They seem pretty happy in here. They got a lot of flower options. And, uh, nice and cozy. And now, we've got what we need. I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? There he is. Excuse me, sir. Ooh. I like these. Only four? That's all? I'm gonna see what this is, too. <laughs> now, shoo shoo. Go on. What a super respectful wandering trader. He totally left when I asked him to. Uh, oh, but I wasn't recording that. Hmm. That's awkward. Anyway, let's see what this looks like. Mm, I can't plant it. <gasps> I love it. All right, what's this? A purple bulbous oddity. Yeah, yeah, sure is. We've got the snow blocks, the ender pearls, the charcoal, and the honeycomb. And I'd say that was pretty easy crystal. <laughs> If you noticed, but last episode we spent all our skill points on Elvish, which is awesome, but now we have no skill points. We're gonna do something about that. And by something, I I, I mean we're gonna run an, another vault. So <laughs> yeah. Um, I've also increased our boss kit. So I added extra splash potions because in the last couple vaults, we ran out both vaults we ran out of uh health potions so that was a little scary don't want to don't want to do that again and uh yeah and also you know if we fight the boss i want to have some extra potions on hand for that as well so there's that we got that there armored up we have our new netherite sword which we're excited about and uh yeah here we go let's hope we get a good one Oh, okay. No modifiers. I'm happy with that. I'm all right with that. <laughs> altar? Is there an altar? Oh, there's a chest here. Oh, that's right. There's no fall damage. I panicked for a second. There we go. Nope. No, thank you. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, we have three obelisks? We might be able to do this. We might, we might fight a boss. I mean, why not? We got, we got our netherite sword. Oh dear, oh dear. No thanks. <laughs> Ooh, a city room. Don't mind if I do. I'm not going out that way. Forget that. And we go down. Ooh. Whoa. I thought you didn't get explosion traps this early. I thought I was too low, too low of a level to get explosion traps. Oh dear. I'd get out the boss crate already. Oh. 
Oh, there's a line. I, I didn't realize there was a line. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't have taken so long. <laughs> No, 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 thank you. That's a lot of, a lot of poison in one room. This one? Okay, great. <laughs> Ooh, that's a vault diamond. I will take that. <gasps> that's an omega chest! And that's an echo! Oh my goodness! That's so exciting. Ooh, an extra pair of netherite boots. Don't mind if I do. Oh, goodness, that was awesome. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, vault nuggies. More vault nuggies. More vault... So many vault nuggies. That chest looked super suspicious. I almost didn't open it. It's just sitting there. <laughs> That's another vault diamond! Yes! That's another vault diamond! Oh my goodness. I think we got everything in here. That was fun. Oh, yeah, go ahead, come on down. There you go. <laughs> Someone didn't invest in Elvish. That was pretty good. Got it. Nope, all right, bye. Oh. <laughs> One thing this room is good for, and that's compressed blocks. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Nope, not worth it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I almost thought it was a crystal room. It's a bee room. Um, I'm very tempted to check the bees. Mm, is it a trap? Is it a trap, though? <laughs> There's only one way to find out, honestly. Can you take these beehives, by the way? Are there bees in all of them, or no? I need more beehives. I'm a little desperate right now. I mean, yeah. All right, now we gotta check. Oh, that will blow up. Stop it. Oh, it's not a trap. It's not a trap. A couple of ores in here and a spawner. Stop it. I'm trying to break the spawner. Stop it. I'm trying to break the spawner. Alright, boss crate is actually almost full. That's cool. Ooh, there's another obelisk. I would like another boss crate. Oh, hoo hoo. Nope. 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 <laughs> just gonna, just gonna nope that one. Okay. <laughs> uh. That shouldn't have any holes in it, right? Nope. A second obelisk? Okay. I can make that. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, another bee room. I just, I have to know. Ooh. Nope, nope. Excuse me. Oh, bees! Oh my goodness, I can't, I can't wait till I have step. <laughs> All right, we gotta check it. Where's our way out? Okay, there's our exit. Ooh, it's two non-traps in a row. That's so nice. No. <laughs> and stay over there. That was a pleasant surprise. Two happy bees in a row. It's a sign. It's a sign. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Right there. Right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was, that's terrifying. Stop, stop. They hurt so much. Stop, I'm trying to aim. <sighs> that was terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I mean, we can go this way. I so expected to take fall damage on that. Then I didn't. Okay. A little breather. Six minutes, so let's... We're not gonna go crazy. 
We're just gonna skip this room. Um, I don't like this room either. We have five minutes left. Not seeing another obelisk. Kind of sad. Nope. Not another obelisk. No obelisk. I am sad. I only feel like I have time to explore the other rooms. So... Got it. I love Ender Pearl so much. <laughs> Sneak over here, grab this ancient debris. So many zombies. So many zombies. Yes, anything over here? Oh, just a spawner. No, thank you. Look at this army. Look at this terrifying. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want, I want up, I want out. <laughs> I don't want this up there. Okay, I didn't want to be down there, that's for sure. <laughs> this is fine. Oh my goodness. All right, I think I'm done playing in this room. I think it's time to head out. <laughs> Dump that off, um, that, that. That was rude. All right, that's, uh, that's my cue. <laughs> Boop. <sighs> All right, let's see what we got. First up, we've got our compressed blocks. Um, we also got five bees nests. I, I didn't need five, but I, I couldn't help myself. They were free bees, you know? Like, is a freebie? Free, free bees? A freebie? Get it? Okay, I'm done, I promise. And some ancient debris and, you know, vanilla ores. We also got one Laramar ore, so that's nice. Next up, here's all the vanilla stuff. We got some bottle of enchanting, sugar shells, three netherite scraps, a decent amount of gold, a bunch of iron, and a lot of diamonds. Also, we got four potions of healing. I managed to go through only half of the potions I brought in with me. To me, that's super ironic because in the last couple vaults, I completely ran out of potions. And this one, I, I still have half. <laughs> That's a huge save for next time. Lastly, in our boss crate, here's all the vault stuff. <laughs> really good stuff. We've got three vault diamonds and some vault nuggies. <laughs> We've got an echo gem. It's awesome to have an echo and three vault diamonds in a vault this early on with levels is just, that's crazy to me. And speaking of which, we're very close to level nine. We also got three Laramar, two Painite, three Rutadite, and a good amount of Star Essence. Also got some Vault Bronze booster packs and our mystery boxes, which we'll open now. Nope, <laughs> nothing. We got mystery boxes though. Ooh, is that a pixie apple? <laughs> oh wow, that's a ton of stuff. Okay, the most interesting thing I'm seeing is that apple over there. I think that might be a pixie apple, but I'm not sure. Also got a tomato and a lot of obsidian. So we got some iron, we got some gravel, we've got wool, <laughs> six diamonds, a sharpness five, and a feather falling four. I mean, those are good books. And this is a pixie apple. Okay, gives you speed five, jump two, and slow falling for two minutes. Speed five and jump two, that's that's pretty good. Four gifter statues and two vendors. So let's go see what these are. All our previous gifter statues are all used up, including Starmute, who gave us a bunch of smooth stone. So let's see what these gifter statues give us including one of the, the special ones. H-bomb with, okay, rocky stone. We've gotten that before. We got, oh, more smooth stone. Dark oak, that's awesome. And then more scoria. Okay, that's great. Especially excited 
about the smooth stone and the dark oak. That's very helpful for the vaulter. Captain Vutex and Star Mute. Let's see what they give us. Ooh, that's cool. Three silver for a choice flask. That's awesome. So I guess that's a bit of a gamble. And then Veniatite. All right. We also got one catalyst, some mystery eggs, magnetite. Here are the apples we got. That's a lot of hearty apples. And a bunch of candy bars to replace the ones we've been using. And nine vault cookies. That's pretty good. How about we eat some of these cookies and see if we can get to level nine before the end of the episode? <laughs> Oh, that, that's so close. What is that? <laughs> okay, one more. There we go. Now we have a skill point. Hmm. So I was reading through the comments on my last Vault Hunters episode. You guys left a lot of awesome suggestions for the next talent or ability we should take. A lot of people suggested it and I do really like the idea of step. It would make life in the vault so much easier, but it is five skill points. We just, you know, we just played the waiting game as far as getting five skill points. I kind of would like to spend it sooner. And Soul Hunter, I would love Soul Hunter, but as you can see, it requires level 25. But as soon as I reach level 25, you can bet I'll be taking Soul Hunter. Well Fit was mentioned, which I do like the idea of having more hearts. Also mentioned was Speed, which I really like the idea of being faster in the vaults. I've been seriously enjoying those candy bars and I get super sad when they run out. <laughs> it's like immediate sadness. So I think taking a level in speed to permanently increase our zoom, our zoominess <laughs> would, would be a lot of fun and would really help in the vault too. So there we go. Let's see how speedy we are. Oh, this is good. I don't feel like I'm just gonna like run off the face of the earth, but I do feel, I do feel like my movements definitely improve. And here you can see in our inventory menu that we have speed one that's, you know, constantly kind of counting up and down, kind of like a beacon effect. I absolutely love that the Volter kind of turned this into a bee themed episode. Our crystal started off with eating honeycomb. We built a honey farm. We have bee friends now. The vault gave us two lucky bee rooms. It's like we manifested the bee room. That's such a unique and fun thing about Vault Hunter episodes is that I might have a plan for the episode, but the vaulter really decides what's gonna happen. In this episode, it was bees. We basically created a bee vault. I'd say overall, this has been a very successful episode. And with that, my name's Evett. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more shenanigans. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode.